Hi there, welcome to Fourth Line Hockey Show. I'm your host, Willie Ploof, and I got my winger here, Mitch Clinton. Mitch, how are you today? I'm doing good. I'm a, I guess I'm your left winger, but people see me on, on your right side, but I, I've always gone by a left winger kind of style. So. Sweet. You know, I can always get mixed up left and right. That's been my issue. <laughs> Today's show is going to be talking about adult rec hockey in Winnipeg, beer league hockey, lots of fun, lots of guys playing hockey. Absolutely. And, you know, it's uh, it's for the guys, you know, the, the at the pro level that are just coming back. It's for guys that, you know, want to keep the dream alive. They and uh, everything like that so you know and even it's even great for officials like like i used to be back in the day so wow being an official you know adult rec hockey beer leg hockey is big in winnipeg guys are skating guys show up at 11 o'clock at night 12 o'clock at night you know we have a special guest today coming in to talk to us about that dean court from mts ice Packs, charge of hockey operations dino's going to come and talk to us guys about all the leagues in winnipeg and surrounding areas yeah, for sure, and you know it's uh, it's going to be interesting to hear what he has to say because I can you, you think about Winnipeg and how many uh, beer leagues they got going on. Probably not an easy job he's got over there. Dino, can you come on in here from your shift? Welcome, Dino, to Fourth Line. Thanks very much, fellas. Uh, you know, I guess my, my first question for you, Dean, uh, is just talking about the, for people that, that don't know just how many leagues there are and uh, what it's like to kind of keep it all straight. Well, there's a few adult hockey leagues here in the city. There's the uh, Central Hockey League, the uh, uh, ASHL, which is the out of Canlan, the Adult Safe Hockey League, and uh, our, uh, the WJHL, which is our Winnipeg Jet Hockey League, and um, they're three several leagues. They're the, the, the larger of the three leagues, and um, they've been around, actually. Our league is the, the most recent, you know, out of the MTS Iceplex. Um, they range in all kinds of divisions, uh, from your elite, which are your pro to semi-pro, to your uh, just casual rec guys that want to go out for a you know, good skate, a couple of pops afterwards, and uh, enjoy their fellowship. You guys should have told me that uh, to get a haircut before this, because I'm uh, feeling a little bit out of place sitting here on the, on the bench with you guys. But uh, I guess the uh, next thing, I talked about off the top some of the, some of the pros that, that come through. You, and you, were, you, were, you and I were talking a little bit earlier about how you know, it's a training thing for them, too. Yeah. Uh, over the springtime, what happens is uh, we've got uh, spring-summer hockey leagues that uh, you know, uh, individuals like Mark Stone uh, and, uh, you know, other pros that want to keep, keep training and want to stay in shape uh, and, and continue their skills um, here in the city. So our league starts a little bit later. They start in May when they come back from wherever they are and uh, which, uh, you know, organization they're playing with. Uh, and then they maintain a, 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 a high skill level of hockey by playing in our, uh, our A division, which is, uh, you know, about, you know, comprised of about seven or eight teams. Uh, of uh, players that are at the NHL level, the American hockey level, the East Coast hockey level, European hockey players. And uh, actually we're going to set up a, a young guns division, which is, you know, going to allow them to compete at a high level throughout the summer, which will help them maintain their abilities to, to get ready for the fall camps. Now, Dino, for, for, you know, not just the top end guys, but for, you know, guys who are shaped, guys who've been playing for 25 years, guys like me, who just yep. want to play in the beer league, E division. Is there E divisions in the league in Winnipeg and that where guys can just sign up and play? You know, guys are not who still enjoy the game, who still like the camaraderie, yep. not getting at it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's, there's, uh, we've got uh, open divisions A, B, C, D, and E. So for everyone, for all levels, what happens is you've got uh, the the rec hockey player who maybe have not played at a competitive level or or uh, hasn't played in quite some time, uh, would like to enjoy getting back in the game. Uh, absolutely, there's uh, E divisions. Uh, we actually at, at the Iceplex call them uh, by former, uh, very uh, high profile in the community uh, uh, NHL players or present players. Uh, we have a Rick Rippian division, we have a Mike Keane division. We name them after players and you know, a Joe Daly, you know, very, very reputable people here in the community, Randy Carlisle, etc. And it allows those players to, to have some uh, sense of ownership. They play in our leagues. Uh, what they do is uh, you know, rather than say, you know, going home and saying, uh, "Hi, hun, I had a great game," and she says, uh, "Well, I pl you play in the 13th division," that eh, doesn't uh, you know bode very well. But when they look and they say, "Oh, I scored three goals in the Carlisle division," you know, Mama doesn't mind that. <laughs> exactly. Hey, you know, not, nothing like uh, adding a nice little uh, tagline like that to your division to give yourself that credibility. I like that. Um, I guess uh, safety of players big issue, uh, not only at the, at the beer league level, but at the at the professional hockey league level as well. Um, what do uh, what do the, the leagues do to kind of make sure that the players are safe out there? Well, the, 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 the leagues are a little bit different in, in how their uh, hockey standards are. I mean, for us at the MTS Iceplex, we have a Hockey Canada Centre of Excellence. Um, so we adhere to the standards that, uh, by Hockey Canada rules. We also emphasize some of those rules by adding additional uh, responsibilities to the player. It is an adult rec league. It's not senior hockey. It's not 
uh, junior hockey. Um, they have to be respectful for the game, for the players, for the officials. They have to enjoy the game, and it's much more enjoyable when you finish the game after you know a, a fair fair play. Um, the rules that we have, uh, you know, again, uh, are for their safety. Um, our, our league itself, we, we have uh, two coordinators that manage the league on a, a daily basis, uh, working with our uh, on-ice official. Uh, our, our referee-in-chief is uh, Jeff Strom. Uh, we also have Ian Heather, who also uh, works with Jeff to uh, organize our officials to ensure that they have their levels to manage the league uh, at the highest uh, level as possible. Um, I'm not sure about the other uh, accreditation that the other leagues have to do. Uh, I'm certain that they try and adhere to them as well. Um, it's real important that the safety of the players is, is first and foremost. You have to have uh, proper conduct, respectful, uh, and when you're playing uh, against other adults, you know, from uh, all different levels and all, all different facets of life, uh, you know, it, you, you again, it's for them. It's for their benefit and enjoyable. So after a good hour of skate, you know, you have a couple of pops and off you go home and, and again, you know, go back to home and, and enjoy the game and tell them how many goals you scored. What a great, you know, leading into our next show coming up, Mitch. You know, we have uh, Stromy coming in as officially the ref in charge of the MTS Centre. So next show, everybody tune in next uh, next cast because it's going to be pretty sweet. We got fourth line hockey show happening with my winger here, Mitch, and uh, Stromy coming in. Cheers.